All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab is in the house and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm in the house with a Brian Brown Knives uh, Jaeger here with me for a quick maintenance video. And, uh, you know, don't forget to like this video if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you're enjoying this kind of stuff. So let's see if we can improve the action. I mean, closing action, you see drop shot, no wiggles. Yeah, it's nice, it's gliding opens like pretty cool and uh, let's see if we can improve the action on this little fella right over here so i'm seeing t8 going on over here and uh, right yeah that's a t8 and also i'm assuming t8 also works for the handle which is yeah not uh, loctited which is pretty cool all the time uh so that doesn't want to come off it's all right it's always gently approach the screws, okay, because you can risk to um, scratch or mar or strip or just just take your time, you know. It, this is something that you need to enjoy. There's no need to be in a rush or anything. So this one, you see, just a little tap, the screw comes out. And then uh, let's see if this pivot is captive or not. It is not, you see, look at that. So. In this case, I'm just trying to apply some pressure on this side and see if I can, if I'm able to. No, so this guy is spinning. No problem. Get uh, a little bit of uh, duct tape and see if we can uh, uh, block like this side, something like that. See, so it doesn't spin. Then I will also apply pressure on this side over here with my thumb and see how it goes. Yeah, see, it worked like a charm. There's some lock uh, some Loctite and that's the trick that I use to take these guys down and then boom, look at that. That's pretty simple, uh, comes out nicely and we're gonna clean it up nicely. So. Uh, let's just pop this uh, bearing out, uh, pivot out here, and this is here, and that's the collar, which is nice. Done! Look at this, pretty straightforward. Then next up, you're gonna need a little bit of rubbing alcohol and uh, just a um, microfiber cloth, like that, and we're gonna start cleaning the track of the bearings, like so. Just that is done. You know what? We can even clean the blade nicely like this. And then you approach the scales, you just go into the crevices and clean everything. And you can also admire at the same time skeletonization going on on the lock side. See, nice back spacer, stainless steel lock face insert, ceramic detent ball. It's pretty nicely done. Also, don't uh, make sure you don't lose uh, any stop pin, like I was about to do. And uh, yeah, pretty much here everything is clean. We're also cleaning this side, inside of this uh, uh, pivot collar on the lock side. So this is done. Now we're gonna do the same thing for the show side, like so. I mean, this scale is like pretty thin. The, the amount of skeletonization, you see, it's not too deep because of course there's the inlay on the other side, which requires some area, you know, to be milled out on the other side. So that is why it's uh, not that deep. And then we're just gonna clean out, uh, clean up, sorry, the bearing, ceramic ball, and also the pivot, like so. And we are pretty much done. Uh, pivot collar is in, there's some, uh, see there's, it's keyed in. Actually, let's just clean also inside of this. Like that, very good. So, I also need to, th to say thank you to my buddy Brandon to sending this guy along. So, I'm able to share my experience with you and um, you can appreciate how this guy is made. So let's do this. Um, so here, this goes in the back. So we're gonna start from this guy. Make sure pivot collar is in place. 
that is going there, this guy is going here, uh, some uh, lube is gonna go in, and we're gonna do 10 weight nano oil, one, two, and three, and that is done. And then we're gonna do 85 weight nano oil for the, look at that, nice. For the detent ball, and then the um, stop pin, of course, has to be in. And then you just pop the blade in like so. And then you reapply a little bit of 10 weight, like one, two, and three drops in the bearing track. And then, boom, pop the bearing in. And then you've got the show side scale in place. Correct? Everything is in place. Yeah, so align there, align here, release the tension. And boom, this should be in place, correct? And it is correct. And then you gotta do the pivot color in, and then you're gonna do, uh, let's see, let's do first the handle screws. Actually, let's do first the pivot screw with some Loctite, and then we're gonna tune it, all right? So just coat like this. And then that is in, so nothing goes anywhere. You're gonna take care of that in a bit. And then T, no, sorry, also, we don't need, uh, that's also like T8, yeah, they're right, that's perfect. So this guy goes here, very gently, because this gets screwed in right into the backspacer, so make sure you make it not you get you catch the thread nicely don't over tighten anything so that is fine okay so we need of course uh, let's see we said this so okay so checking for centering checking for blade play wow this thing is rock solid holy cow and let me see Okay, so it feels a little bit tight, so we're gonna just loosen just a little bit. Check for blade play. Mm, no, there's a little bit of blade play. Of blade play, sorry. So this guy has to be back. Blade looks pretty centered to me. This guy snaps out like crazy. Really cool action, guys. Yeah, I'm not sure if I improved anything, but I think it's a little bit smoother. I really like this guy. I mean, uh, aesthetically, this is not my jam, but it's, uh, yeah, it's a nice one. I mean, the choil, yeah, the grip is not stellar, but the action now is perfected. So there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.